All right, welcome back to the channel. It's Model Rocks 321 here, also on Instagram at Model Rocks 321. Please go on and hit that like button right now and subscribe to the channel, y'all. If you like Model Rockets, we have something in common. Subscribe to the channel. I bring you all kind of builds, launches, all kind of videos. I promote some products and I show you all kind of stuff when it comes to model rocketry. Mainly mid to low power stuff, but I also do high power. I don't I have some high power rockets and I'm certified level one. I really don't get to fly that much high power anymore because you know club stuff, FAA waivers, all that stuff. But anyway, in today's video, I want to talk about launching and recovering rockets. Um I saw a video uh, by was it Kevin's Models? I got it written down. I forget, I forget his name. Kevin's Models and more. Be sure to follow his channel. Um, he launches rockets and he has an altimeter. He always gives you a lot of data on his flights. Really cool channel. Um, check him out. Go subscribe over there also. So he put a video up recently. Um, that's what sparked this video. Um, he lost a wizard with an altimeter in it and he found it. It was pretty cool. Like he lost a rocket. It was maybe a couple months, three months, he said. And he went and found it and it was in good shape and the altimeter was still in and everything. So that's pretty cool. And I want to talk about um, launching rockets and losing them. These, This rocket right here I launched a while ago. There's a video where I launched this Century um, and it got lost. It was on the ground. I knew the area that it came down in, but it was lost for a few minutes. I spent a good 15 minutes walking around trying to find it. Um, but I eventually spotted the parachute fluttering on the ground. I walked over and I recovered it. And today I just want to talk about Something you can do to if you lose your rocket in the field, it's on the ground somewhere, you just can't find it and you exhausted all your efforts and you're going to go ahead and leave. This is something you can leave a little bit more confidently that your rocket could possibly be found by somebody and it can be returned. I thought I covered this subject before. Um, what you do is you attach, it's so simple, you attach your contact information to the rocket. And I'm going to show you a couple ways to do that. I have a, a diagram drawn here. And I'm going to show you one that I made. Um, they're simple to do. I haven't done it for a very long time because my area, you typically will recover it, especially if you have somebody with you. But I have lost them on the ground quite a few times. Um, you think it came down this area, if you turn your head, you, you'll you lose it on the ground. It's totally possible, especially if you have any kind of taller brush or grass, or if there's even little like hills and inclines, it can tuck between one of them and you can misjudge how far you thought it went and you can lose a rocket. So. It has happened to me quite a few times. You watch my videos, go check some of my videos, especially subscribe, subscribe to the channel, subscribe right now if you haven't subscribed yet, and hit the thumb up and ring the bell notification so you'll see my new videos. Anyway, yeah, you can lose rockets in the field. It's totally possible. I have a nose cone that's still lost out there, which may never be found. I lost a new Estes Astro Cam. It came off of a rocket. Totally my fault. Lost the, lost out there, and they plowed that area over, so that's long gone. But I have um, I have two of those, so I'm not not too worried about the uh, as, the Astro Cam. It's long gone. I mean, I'm never gonna never gonna get that back. But this is just a way where you guys can get your rocket back if somebody finds it. If it falls, if it lands in a field that people kind of frequent, not necessarily a park field, but a more open area where there's there's trails and stuff like that, and it may get found if you do what I'm going to show you right now. All right, so what I have here is this crude, crude diagram of a rocket and what to do if the rocket gets lost and somebody else finds it. Basically, you put your contact information inside the rocket or you can even put it on the rocket if you want. If you have a certain rocket that you don't mind, this is a rocket I wouldn't mind. Well, this is all scale, so I'd leave that. I prefer the other method of putting it on the inside. What it is, you make a tag. You make a tag like you do on luggage and you attach it. You put your contact information on. I already made a really crude one right here. They're simple to make, don't take too much time, easy. I made this in under five minutes. It's a piece of paper and I just wrote on it, if found contact, say Bob at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or whatever. And I put this piece of, and I tied a piece of string on there and you'll attach this to where the nose cone goes. You just attach it. You can roll it up and tuck it next to the parachute. Just have it in the rocket. So when everything comes down and if you can't find a rocket, somebody else comes along and they're a decent person, and they say, hey, I found, oh, this person, this is a model rocket somebody lost. And you can, you can put something on the other side also. Put something on the other side other side also. But what I did, this is a plain piece of paper. I just wrote the information. And I kind of laminated it with some regular tape. I used, like, some shipping tape. It's right here, as a matter of fact. Yep, right here. Easy to make. I fold it over and I cut that little hole with some scissors. Laminated. You can do this any kind of way. This is simple to do. You can make, you can use a piece of streamer material. You can use anything. I've tried everything. They, it all works. You can't go wrong doing this, but it's a method that will get your rocket back to you um, instead of 
you know, leaving the field and then you don't have it. So, you know, this will give you a little more like, hey, I didn't find it, but maybe somebody will come along and find it. There's other way you can put it on the rocket, as I showed you that, but you make a simple tag like that, attach it to the rocket, attach it to the section where the parachute go, and you are doing good because it's a little more peace of mind instead of just walking off. Because if you walk it off, just leave your rocket out there and nobody, um, and uh, without a name on it, it's going forever, you know, pretty much. Unless you come back and you find it another day and it may be more damage and maybe rain may have happened or if it's winter time, snow may have happened. But this is just a quick tip, something for you guys to do to make this tag easy to do. Use anything you want. Any You can do this many different ways. There's um, You can make all, you can come up, you can be creative with this. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And I just wanted to share that with you guys today after seeing Kevin's models um, video. It inspired me to do this because he lost his wizard, but... Luckily enough, he was able to find his wizard, which is pretty cool. So that's the video for today, guys. Some Model Rockets 321. I bring you all kinds of tips, tricks, model rockets. As you can see, I did some weathering on this rocket. I'll show you that, show you that on, one, um, on one of my videos. Just go check the archives. You'll see some build tip videos. And that is it for today, guys. Be sure to subscribe and check the links below. Also, follow Kevin's models. Model Rocks 321. And we are out. Make yourself a tag, guys. Make a tag. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise.